Hey everyone, this is Jay, and today I'll be showing you how to configure um, OSPF on Cisco routers. Um, the network we have here contains three routers and three end nodes, and there's two serial WAN links. So let's start off with configuring the routers. Um, so this is enter the command line. Let's type in conf team. Alright, so let's begin with configuring the interfaces. Uh, let's go with FA00. So let's type in an IP address of 172.16.10.1 and a subnet mask. Okay, let's type in the no shot command. Um, so now let's move on to the serial interface of 000. Again, here an IP address. So we're going with 172.16.20 and the subnet mask. Okay. So now let's type in the no shut command. All right. Oh, also we gotta set the clock rate. You see here we got the DC connection. So let's type in 64,000 bits. All right, now you should be all set. All right. So to configure OSPF, what you wanna type is router OSPF and a process ID. Let's just go with one. Alright, now let's type in the interfaces that you want the router to receive OSPF messages on. So let's go with network 172.16.0.0. And here we're going to use a wildcard mask. So let's go with 0 .0 0.0.255. So what the two zeros are saying is basically anything with 172.16 it will receive and to ignore the last two um, octets so now let's type in the area of zero alright now let's continue on to the next one Okay. so basically the same thing here alright let's go with FA00 Alright, let's set an IP address of 172.16.30.1 and then no shutdown. Alright, now let's go to the serial interface of 010. Now let's set the IP address of 172.16.20.2. Okay, so let's go. To, let's go to this interface, and that's serial zero zero zero. Okay. Uh, let's go to the IP address here of one seven two dot sixteen dot forty dot one. Okay, and the no shut command. And again, here we have to set the clock rate. Okay, now let's exit. Alright, so now let's go to configure OSPF. One. Now let's type in network 172.16.0.0. And again, a wildcard mask. Oh, sorry. You want to type in area one. Actually, area zero. Okay, so now we're good with this router. Now let's go to the final one. Alright, so again, let's configuration terminal. And let's go with the this serial 01 uh, 0. Let's type it. An IP address of 172.16.40.2. Okay, and the no shutdown command. Okay, now let's go to the fast Ethernet interface. And let's give it an IP address here of 172.16.0.0. .0. 
172.16.50.1 and the submit mask. Okay, and again, no shut. All right, so let's configure um, OSPF. Let's go with network 172.16.0.0. Zero dot zero dot two fifty five area zero. Okay. So now let's configure the end nodes. Alright, the IP address here is is one seven two dot sixteen dot twenty dot two two fifty five dot zero. And the default gateway is Oh, actually, it's not 10. Sorry about that. Okay. Alright, now we have that one configured. Let's go to the next one. And this is 172.16.30. So two dot sixteen dot fifty dot two two fifty five and one seven two dot sixteen dot fifty dot one. Okay, so now we um, configured all the routers with OSPF. So now to test it out, we're gonna ping these two machines right here from this one. So let's open up the command prompt and ping one seven two dot sixteen. Uh, 30.2 All right, let's see if this works. All right, sweet. Now, um, now we have connection to this computer over here. So now let's ping this one right here. Let's go with ping 172.16.50.2. Alright, and there it is. Now you have connection through to all the networks, through all the serial WAN links, and that's how you configure OSPF. Thank you.